My name is Professor Katherine Lysak, and I'm in the art department at Broward College. I've been teaching art for about 35 years. Um, I specialize in teaching sculpture and three-dimensional design. What I'm really here to do is to facilitate their learning, to help them become the artists that they want to be. I'm Bonnie Goldberg, and I just turned 64. Um, my name is Andrea Gonzalez, and I go to Broward College, and I study visual arts. My name is Suzanne Perez. I'm 19 years old. I go to Broward College, and I'm studying digital arts. It's so wonderful being in college with, I want to say children, <laughs> they're not, not children, young adults that are not 20, but 40 years younger than I am. I'm not even a substitute mother. I'm a substitute grandmother. So I just want to take everybody's work home and put it on my refrigerator door. I'm charmed from the minute I walk in to the minute I leave. So currently I'm working on more 3D art. Um, I like making figures, uh, character design, and sometimes like stuff that's associated with uh, graphic design. I mean, my idea is to literally experiment and try every type of media of art because I don't really want to limit myself. Uh, when I was younger, my sister actually started pursuing an art in high school. And so she had all these medias around her. She was constantly drawing. And me in that environment, obviously, I was, just, I was drawn to it. I've always liked playing with colors, but I didn't know right away until maybe I was like five years old. As a kid, I used to cry every time we passed the colored section. So my mom was like, yeah, you're going to be an artist. I just believe that, you know, maybe I can do better. Maybe if I practice every day, I can eventually express myself exactly how I want to without having to say anything. And that's what I like about art. That's the best way for me to express myself in every way I feel. It doesn't feel like a hobby anymore. I took up pottery 20 years ago to quit smoking. I used to sit in a pottery studio at night and I had something to do with my hands and found so much pleasure and so much fulfillment. I've continued until at this stage of my life, I'd like to pursue it at um, more intense and intellectual and academic levels. My favorite medium is clay, and I like to do both functional and non-functional pieces, realistic and surreal, figurative. I started out in my 20s as a dancer, and I left school to work. I had to make a living, so I worked in a dancing school. It, it started to wear thin in my late 20s, and I went into real estate. I've been in real estate for 30 years. My past in dance does influence my artwork now. I always see reflections of spinning and twirling and leaping and extensions. The most favorite thing I've created were, are like a series of pieces. And um, it wasn't really of how great they were. It's just how I pushed myself to do them. It was for uh, Inktober, which is this sort of art event for October where every day you must draw something. So for me, it was a huge challenge because I had to sit down, I had to think of an idea so I can draw it in my ink. And it really did push me to be like, yeah, I can do greater art later on if I keep this up. And that's probably my, like, my most favorite pieces, even if they aren't like grand and great. Usually when I find inspiration, I do it in the sense of whatever is happening around me that I can't control, my emotions, like anything that I need to express or release that I can't do in public because, you know, it's just something that I don't like to do. So I rather put all that energy into my art and I end up creating something very, sometimes controversial, sometimes very big and expressive. And I think that would be better than me just getting angry and then crying about it. Where I get my inspiration from is just everyday life. If I'm daydreaming about something, oh, I want to draw it. If I see a car that I like and I want to make something out of it, I'll draw it. It's just everything around me I can see as some sort of idea. 
Other people's works inspire me often. It's um, sometimes to decide what I want to do, I'll go through pictures in books or in, on the internet, and then I'll sit and draw and grab pieces of what other artists have done and almost do a co create a collage of, from their pieces. Art is a really nice outlet when you're stressed or you're angry or sad and you really don't have to do much. You just get a pen and a pencil, you know, and you draw whatever emotion you have or, you know, you have an idea, you draw it out. It's, a, it's yeah. like a really good role for society, especially right now. Like there's so much stuff that's going on that everyone just needs to have some sort of outlet. I think art is more like a personality because you can take it in any direction. You can take it in a controversial way, you can take it in a fun way, you can take it in an expressive way, you can take it in a psychological way, and that's what I like about it. Art is like Play-Doh, you can form it to whatever you want and you can have fun with it. And then people interpret it any way they want. Art saves my life. It calms my nerves, it centers me, and it just... Simply stated, art makes me feel good.